Hello! In this video, we are going to learn about prefixes to understand and form new words in English. I'd like to ask you first these questions. Which is one tradition that everyone who lives in your city knows about? Which is one tradition that everybody is familiar with? All right. Now let me ask you this. What would you think about someone who thinks that such tradition is irrelevant? If they say, no, that's not important, what would you think about that person? What would you say to them? All right. Thank you. Thank you for considering that question. Now, let's read the instruction for the activity. Read the following text describing someone's opinion about a controversial issue. Controversial issue means that many people have different opinions about that topic, that problematic uh, topic, and what you're going to read may be controversial. It means that you may say that is not something that I agree with. All right? Okay, this is what this person says. I think that a sense of belonging and respect for the principles, values, traditions, and symbols of a land or territory should not be limited to its citizens. It means that not only the people who live in that land or territory should respect or value the principles and traditions of that land. Right? Everyone who has freely decided to move to this area should become familiar with and adopt the values of those of us who live here. So, what he's saying is that if somebody comes freely to this land, they should adopt those values. It means that they should become familiar with those values and have them as their own. But that's why they move there, so they have to respect the values that they have there. All right. Adherence to our laws and conventions is essential. All right. That they should adhere, that they should respect and abide by that, those laws. Newly arrived people should be required to know, respect, and promote the traditions of the land that now they call home. Wow, this is serious stuff. If you come to a new place, that you should be required. It means that it is mandatory for you to respect and promote the traditions of the land that now they call home. you call home. Because now you say, this is my home. But do you respect and promote the values that they have? All right, that's what the person says. That's very controversial. Of course, you may have your own opinion about that. Let me ask you, some, just to make sure that you understood what's going on. According to the author, who should have a sense of belonging, respect for values, principles, and traditions? Everybody, not only the citizens. Everybody who lives in the land. All right. What does the author think newly arrived people should do? That they should know, respect, and promote the traditions of the place. That is what the person thinks. All right. So, it is important for us to be able to express our opinions about things. And to express our opinions, I would like for us to think about words that we can use to, in some way, use the vocabulary that they used and probably transform it in such a way that we can contradict or um, express an idea that is contra contrary to what they say. For example, if they say, I think this is relevant. Hmm. When we are responding to that um, opinion that they have that it is relevant, we could say it is irrelevant. You should be more responsible. You could say, yes, that person is very irresponsible. I think this is legal. You could say, no, I think that is illegal. You know what we're doing with these? With these words, we are actually using some tool that we have in English to create 
form understand new vocabulary and that is called prefixes prefixes and suffixes actually prefixes are words that we attach or let's they may be words but actually there could be a few letters that we attach to the beginning of a, of a word and we change the meaning of such word for example you were waiting for the example the word a ah, or that portion let's say that fragment the fragment a ah, could mean not or without for example in the word typical if we say atypical is not typical you see that is very common in English to have the opposite uh, meaning of a word added when we use just a, a prefix. We have another one, co, when we say like coexist. What does coexist mean? Co means with, joint, jointly or together. So exist with somebody or jointly or together with somebody else, right? Contra means against contradict somebody says something somebody uh, dictates some something when when somebody speaks they have a diction let's say they say something and contradict is say the opposite all right this means also not or opposite or reverse for example when we say disagree disrespect all right now we have very different forms of saying not when uh, involving the letter i like e or ir like ear like irrelevant illegal etc so that e not that that e sound actually is always pronounced uh, e missy mm, i no it's always pronounced e irrelevant illegal etc irrational that means also not all right miss is very commonly used also in English and it means bad or wrong. For example, if I say misunderstand or misunderstanding means that I am understanding something but incorrectly. All right, wrong. If I if I'm if I made like make a mistake means that I'm taking that in an incorrect way. Mistake. Over means too much. For example, when we say overestimate, somebody is expressing their opinion and you say, I think you are overestimating that. So you're giving too much esteem to that topic, overestimating. Re may have two meanings. One is again and back. For example, when we say review or repeat, all right? On is always opposite, like against, not, or opposite. For example, comfortable, uncomfortable, all right? Under, the last one, is less or lower, not enough, beneath or below. For example, underestimate. All right? Now, I know that you may be thinking about so many words now that may have these prefixes. And I would like for you to use all those words or some of those words that have come up to your, mount, to your mind now. I'm sorry. And I would like for you to complete this practice activity. So remember that we heard about, about a very controversial topic, right? We're going to respond to that controversial topic by using some of this vocabulary. So this is your practice activity. Using words formed with the prefixes listed above, write five sentences that express your position about the opinion expressed above, right? So you may agree, or you may disagree, you may um agree on some points disagree on some others but just write some sentences that express your opinion all right i'm gonna give you a moment for you to pause my video you pause my video and complete the activity and then i'll show you some sample answers all right thank you very much for having paused my video and for completing the activity let me show you some sample answers not necessarily yours of course the first one it would be very good it would be good <laughs> to stick to the traditions of a region so that we don't feel uncomfortable around locals so for our benefit that would be good uncomfortable so we have comfortable or uncomfortable so i don't want to feel uncomfortable so i stick to the traditions that they have good next it is atypical 
to demand that newly arrived people adjust to the loss of a place. So it is not typical to demand that they adjust to the loss. Next, when moving to a new place, we shouldn't underestimate the value that traditions are given by the people who have lived there for years. We should not underestimate the value that they give to the traditions. Nice. Next, when living in a new place, we must get informed about the traditions of the place so that we avoid misunderstandings. Nice. Yes. Okay, that's what this person is saying. Doesn't have to be your opinion. Next, everywhere in the world, people should coexist with respect and tolerance. I see. That's very important. Yes, coexist, live together. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for having completed the activity. And now I'll, I would like to ask you to practice your pronunciation. I am going to pause my video so that you can practice with the native speaker. Listen to him, please. It would be good to stick to the traditions of a region so that we don't feel uncomfortable around locals. It is atypical to demand that newly arrived people adjust to the laws of a place. When moving to a new place, we shouldn't underestimate the value that traditions are given by the people who have lived there for years. When living in a new place, we must get informed about the traditions of the place so that we avoid misunderstandings. Everywhere in the world, people should coexist with respect and tolerance. All right. Thank you. Thank you for having practiced your pronunciation and especially for having used those words that we can form or understand using prefixes to express our opinion, especially when we can uh, have the, the power of changing one word and make it have a different meaning, an opposite meaning most of the times. Thank you very much for having completed this activity and I'll see you in the next video.